Hello, darlings, and welcome back to my channel. We are back again, you guys, with another video. Yes, we are on a roll. We are going to get these videos popping, honey. So I have another fragrance that I want to share with you guys today. And this one is from the House of Vince. Komodo. This fragrance has not been talked about as of yet that I know of. It has not been talked about. And I don't know why. This is a new release and it is a limited edition. And this one is from the Vince Komodo line, which I do have almost a whole line except for one. This one is called Floreal from Vince Komodo. Now, this is the latest release. There was a release right before that. I'm opening it up, you guys. Let me go ahead and just Get on into it. But there was a release right before that, which is called Brilliant from Vince Camuto. You guys, I have not got my nose on that one because every time I checked on that fragrance, that fragrance was literally like expensive, like full price expensive. And would I pay full price for Vince Camuto fragrance? Um, No, I would not. So that was the reason i knew it came out and someone did also send me a dm on instagram letting me know Rhonda, brilliant has come out have you seen it and yes i have actually seen it i nine times out of ten you guys i don't miss a release i'm always staying up with that stuff you know i always be checking on stuff like that but this is the packaging and it has a little seal that says the number 10 on the inside and this is floreal box is still the same as the others and it also gives you a gold shape of how the bottle is, um, how they do all the other packaging for the Fiscal bottles. Now, like I said, this one is not even being talked about. And before we even get into this, okay, I want to let you know, you know I have to spill some tea with you guys. You know I have to do that. So this bottle, you guys, is a new release. Oh, this is cute. Okay, it has the bowl. Yeah, this is cute, but this bottle, I don't like how the flowers don't go all the way around. Oh, <laughs> the flowers is only on the back so it can reflect through the front. You can see the flowers, like the flowers are like in a in a glass, like a vase. Yeah, I get some water. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So before I even get into this fragrance, you guys, this perfume as a new release, this perfume is $36. I just wanna put the price out there right now. So if you are in the market, I haven't even smelled it yet, but I'm gonna smell it, but I still wanna let you know it's only $36. This is more my price point for Vince Camuto fragrances. So let me go ahead and take the top off. That bow is really cute. That is really, really cute. So let me go ahead and spray this to see what this gives off. But first, wait, let me go ahead. Before I get to spraying, let me type her on in and see what she's giving, honey. This was a blind purchase. I have no idea what it smells like. At the price point of $36, I was here for it, okay? I can do that. If I don't like it, of course, it can just into a declutter. Okay, Floreal by Viscudo is a floral fruity gourmand fragrance for women. This is a new fragrance. Floreal was launched in 2021. Oh, it was launched in 2021. Probably in the end of 2021. Top notes are pink pepper and palmelo. Middle notes are orchid and pink peony and base notes are vanilla and cedar so let's see what she gives off honey i haven't picked up one of these vince camuto bottles in so long but yeah i just remember back back way 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 back when when my collection was kind of just actually taking off when i was starting to do uh youtube videos and i started collecting the collection which i do have a video of the collection i will leave a card right up here or I will leave it linked down in the description if you're interested in seeing the collection, because I do have a video. And yes, I do still have the whole collection, except for the one, the first one. I really didn't like that one. So that was the only one I got rid of. So let's see what she's doing. Oh, I wouldn't say this is gourmand. I wouldn't go as far as to say gourmand. I smell like a, like almost like a melon fruit in vanilla. Okay. And like powdery, like baby powdery a little bit. When I'm smelling it on the tissue, I, I can really smell a lot of alcohol, but on the skin, I don't really even smell the alcohol. Not bad, not bad. Would I pay full price for this? No, absolutely not. No, 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 no. But not bad. I can see, okay, I can see this drying down as a pretty powdery scent. Very feminine, yes, yes. Very spring-like too, so. This is kind of perfect for this weather, the warming up of weather and the flowers. Okay, like this makes so much sense. Okay, so this flower on on the box, I don't know if you guys can see it. I probably have to adjust 
my camera. So this does smell like a big peony. It kind of puts me in the mind frame of Jimmy Choo Low. But this peony is way more powdery though. It's more powdery, just a little bit of a spiciness to it, like a pepperiness to it. A pink pepper, but not like a black pepper, a pink pepper, like where it's just like speckled, a speckle of spice in it, if that makes sense. But like a powdery, speckly spice. I think I will wear this, you guys. I think I kind of like this. You know what? This is the type of fragrance to me that I will wear to bed, okay? Okay, like where I don't want to have too much gourmandy or too something too heady and too strong. This is something I would just slightly sprinkle on me after I get out the bathtub and then get in the bed. So I'll smell powdery, sweet, powdery, fresh. Like that's what I'm the vibe that I'm getting from this Viscomuto Floreal. Floreal. That's what I'm getting out of this. It has orchid. Okay, that's what's giving it a little bit of a fuzziness to it, too. Okay, I like this. Okay, Viscomuto, okay. Now that I can talk about the price where I just described the fragrance to me, this is my first impression. So overall, I do like it. Do I love it? No, I don't love it. It's. Let me just say this. It is a little hard for me to love a fragrance right off the top, unless it has the notes that I am a sucker for, which is musk and which is black currant and things like that. So those fragrances usually grab me in the beginning. An example, Born in Roma from Valentino. Fragrances like that, you guys, that is my cup of tea. Those are the fragrances that I love right off the top. Now this one, it took a second and then it, it's like it bloomed blossomed right off my arm. Like, I don't even have to put my nose all the way to. I like this. I could see myself wearing this. So uh, let me go ahead and give this a full wear. And then I will talk about this later in some talk to see where I am. But since I've talked about it, now let's talk about pricing, okay? I will leave the link in the description box where you'll find this fragrance for $36. It is right now still selling at Macy's and at Dillard's for 90, okay? It's 36. So if you are interested, this is a pretty pink floral powdery perfume. It's really, really nice. I'm, I'm really actually shocked. Now, had this been like in the beginning of my collection when I bought Fury, I probably would have been head over heels for this, okay? Because that's what the place that I was in with my collection, that's the place when I was in, the place that I was in when I was actually trying perfume. So I was just getting familiar with notes and stuff like that. So now it's a little bit different. So now certain things that used to grab me in the beginning or I would just be in love with in the beginning, it doesn't do, do that to me anymore because I've tried so many other things now. So I know what I really, really like. And well, I know what I really, really love right off the top. But this is still very nice. So I'm definitely gonna wear this, you guys. I, no, no joke. This is a pretty springy type perfume. So I definitely am going to be getting more wears out of this and I'm going to do it for a review. So again, this one is Vince Camuto Floreal. This is in the form of Eau de Parfum. Yes, it is a 100 ml, 3.4 fluid ounce. Now this is a limited edition. Yes, it's the 10th anniversary edition. Well, it's the anniversary edition. Doesn't mean that it is limited edition, but this is the 10th anniversary edition. So if you are collecting Vince Camuto's, I would definitely say try this one. It's different. And that's another thing that I really, really love about the Vince Camuto line. Well, I ain't gonna say love, because I don't love them more. <laughs> but that's what I really like about the line is that none of the fragrances are the same. Like they are literally, they can literally be their own pillars, but they, they just stayed in the line. Like the, they just kept the collection going. Even though the bottles are the same, all the scents are different. So even though they are flankers, they are not flankers or flankers or flankers where they smell the only difference is like one note. No, these are like different fragrances. That's what I really, really like about this Komodo. I am really impressed, you guys. So that is my first impression of Vince Komodo Floreal, and you cannot go wrong with only getting her for $36, yes. You know I have the tea for you. So again, Vince Camuto 10th Anniversary Edition Floreal, 3.4 fluid ounce, 100 ml, Eau de Parfum, $36. Yes, ma'am, we're here for this one. Yes, a welcome to the family. Okay, you guys, so this does sum up my unboxing perfume haul of my Vince Camuto Floreal. You guys, comment down below and let me know if you are going to try Floreal. Are you intrigued? You guys, this is a really actually nice fragrance, okay? I am 
kind of surprised. Okay, I really didn't expect a lot, but it did surprise me of what it like blossomed off of my arm. I really, really like that part of it. So again, thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you in my next video.